On Thursday in New York, for the third day of his historic hush money trial, Donald Trump departed Trump Tower. A social media post that might have violated a gag order might earn him the wrath of the judge. Today is the third day of the jury selection process, and Judge Juan Merchant has issued an injunction to Trump not to disparage prospective jurors. On Wednesday night, Trump cited Jesse Waters, anchor of Fox News, in a post on Truth Social. They are catching undercover liberal activists lying to the judge in order to get on the Trump jury. Waters was cited as saying, Legal analysts speculated that might violate the order. Trump is not allowed to make or direct others to make public statements about any prospective juror or any juror, according to the injunction. The post was obviously forbidden by the gag order in this case, according to CNN legal analyst Jeffrey Tubin. Criminal defendants have fewer and distinct rights than regular citizens, he continued. They are prohibited from interfering with the trial, particularly in cases where a gag order has been issued that addresses attempts to scare jurors. Simply put, that is not acceptable. Seven jurors have been selected to date to participate in the deliberations. Among them are two lawyers, an English teacher, a software engineer, an information technology specialist, a salesperson, and an oncology nurse. According to Judge Merchant, the historic case's opening arguments could take place as early as next week. Trump has expressed dissatisfaction with Judge Merchant's rushing of the trial, claiming that the jury selection process is proceeding faster than anticipated. The case revolves around a $130,000 payment made by Michael Cohen, Trump's personal fixer and attorney, to porn star Stormy Daniels just before the 2016 election in order to keep her allegations of having a sexual encounter with the president private. Cohen entered a guilty plea to federal charges in 2018 and is anticipated to serve as a prominent witness for the prosecution. According to the prosecution, Trump concealed the true source of the payments and in internal records when his company reimbursed Cohen. Trump has denied ever having sex with Daniels, and his attorneys contend that the money paid to Cohen was a reasonable outlay for legal services. Trump has entered a not guilty plea to the 34 felony counts of falsifying company documents against him. If found guilty, he might spend up to four years in prison, though it's unclear if the judge would decide to lock him up.